piece of meat, boy. Go, go, go. I am Artosis, of course, and I am here at the Istro House just to do a little interview with some of the top players and see the impression of the team on StarCraft II. This, these are the practice rooms I'm showing you right now, and look who it is right there. It's my faithful sidekick, the Istro manager, Juani. He's always translating for me in all these different videos that you see. And he is, in fact, going to be the first interview for today because he is the Easter manager and he has played StarCraft II quite a bit. Hey, Juani, how's it going? Fine, how are you? Oh, let me aim this right, okay. Uh, I am quite good, as you do well know, considering we see each other other every day. All right, okay. so StarCraft II and your team, that's what the interview is going to be about. Let's first start off with some, with some StarCraft I stuff. Mm -hmm. um, see, really. Okay. He is really good, okay? I want to know your opinions on this player because he's been doing better and better and really showing that he is one of the best players in the world. So what, what are your thoughts on C, really? Yeah, he's, he was good when I first actually joined the uh, Easter team. And everybody probably knew he was good because uh, even Daniel Lee, before he was a head coach for our team, he told me that he really is gonna be become ace mm. for our team. So I mean, I had the faith in him. Mm. And uh, when you actually came to our company, I probably told you and Rick that he really is gonna, I mean, rip all the players in the pro league. Yeah, I really had a lot of faith in him because. Because everybody told me, I mean, all the head coaches and uh, all the coaches has been telling me that he was a good player, mm. a firm player. As you know, he never cheeses. <laughs> yeah. Like, you always hate. He's a smart, he's, he's, but he's he lacks uh, smartness a little bit. Mm. Like, he doesn't... Totally mechanical. Yeah, very mechanical, but uh, I think he needs some, somewhat, he needs to observe what Up Magic has. I mean, Up Magic is... Probably everybody knows if you're an Easter fan, a Magic is a smart player, but he's mm. not a mechanical player. Absolutely. So we got two Terrans which he lacks a little bit of each other. Yeah. So I think. As uh, you can combine them into one Super Terran. Yeah. I th and you get that, Flash. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> Super Terran, of course, that's a Flash. So he lacks the smartness, but he's eventually getting better. And uh, if you guys saw how he played against Flash in a TVT on a match point, mm. It was perfect. Oh yeah. He became smart and put all the mines in the, everywhere to search for the dropships. He was dropping all the vultures all the time, harassing it hard. I mean everything looked really good. And I think uh, now we do have an ace in our team. Definitely. And I hope we go to playoff this season. I do too. Mm -hmm. uh, but more on the playoffs in a little bit. Uh, speaking of Ace, another player that's really been helping out this season seems to be Action. Mm -hmm. This guy has really risen up quite strongly. Yes. Who do you think is uh, actually better right now? Is it Hiva or is it Action? And what do you think about Action's rise to being just, he is totally <laughs> solid right now? Uh, well, the, the, they both have different styles. I mean, Mm. They both have a different styles, but I would go for action because mm. uh, this guy we call him Terminator, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, because of what it is like when Max first came to our team as a coach, uh, our head coach Hyunjin, which is a cos, he told uh, Max that okay, please take a good care of action, just make him play well and pra make him practice hard and uh, we want him to be playing we want him to play in a pro league as a as a really I mean top Zerg player in our team you know mm. I mean even the B teamers league he was doing quite good quite good but he wasn't like really in a level like Haiva well yeah he was actually destroying that he was actually winning it mm -hmm. 
but he wasn't like doing well in the pro leagues. It's, mm. it's, like, it's always different than you when you play in a practice room and when you actually go into the stadium. Of course. And, and um, I like I said before, like his nickname is like everybody call him for fun. I mean, hmm. he's a Terminator because he wakes up earlier than anybody. Hmm. I mean, even when I was living with the players, he would wake up and wake me up. He would like wake me up and tell Juan Young, you have to go to office. <laughs> he would wake up before me and he would. What a manner guy. Yeah. And then he goes down to the practice room, he practices, warms up for four hours. Then he actually goes into the practice, which is 12, 13 hours. Then when everybody is goes, goes uh, at 1 a.m. when the practice is over, he stays until 6 a.m. and practices. So he sleeps like two, three hours a day. Two or three hours a day. Yeah, and then of course he I sleeps mean, during the day. That is commendable, but that cannot be healthy. <laughs> that is not healthy. But when we ask, how can you survive with such a, like hard conditions? Yeah. You know? And he said, the game is so fun. It's a good game. I'm happy to play. Wow. He just wants to play that way. I mean, you cannot stop anybody. Yeah. I mean, you know. You oh, play for like 12, 13 hours for StarCraft 2, don't I you? I do. Yeah, that's how he feels about StarCraft 1 right now. Yeah. He's eager to play. He, he's very eager to win. Well, that is awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, out of all the other kids that aren't doing quite so well right now, who do you think is going to probably rise up and be the next you know action-type player who's just going to become a really solid player for the team? Well, I would say Gozi Flying, maybe. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, he's, he's already done yeah, reasonably well. Yeah, not, not quite as solid, I think, as action, but he's got some pretty good results. He has a pretty good result, yeah. But a lot of lucky games, His condition is, though. like, <laughs> up and downs. A lot of up and downs. Yeah, I, I think the ups are maybe more mm -hmm. luck-based than skill-based, to be honest. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I've been talking to a lot with our coaches and head coaches. Yeah. Well, probably in the next few few months no, maybe six months mm -hmm. we'll have a lot of a good products in our team oh, that's good right now we lack products does that have to do with tester becoming a playing coach yes uh, he's a coach actually oh he's player. no longer a playing yeah. coach doesn't try star leagues or anything no. anymore oh okay he's a coach actually he's been taking good cares about our team mm. with the products lines yeah yeah um now Eastro's actually doing quite well this season. Are they still tied for sixth or uh, seventh? Seventh just fell to seventh. Not doing quite as well in winners' league. Mm -hmm. You know, Flash isn't on this team, so who else can do good? Um, but what are the goals exactly for Eastro in this season? You know, in the previous seasons they've always been top, bottom two rather. Mm -hmm. But this season they're doing really, really well. What What are the goals for this well, team? Of course, go to the playoff. Yeah. And do best as I can. Hmm. Do you think that they'll make playoffs as top six teams, right? Top six. Top six. Yeah, I mean, yeah. top six teams. Yeah. So you think Eastro has what it takes to uh, regain the top six position at yes. the end of the season? Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm confident. And any uh, prediction as to where you'll make it if you make get it to the playoffs? <sighs> I don't know. Uh, we'll see about that during the fourth and fifth round. All right, excellent. Um, now let's get into some StarCraft II questions. Okay. I think that's what a lot of foreigners are dying to uh, <laughs> hear. First off, you actually got a beta pretty pretty early on, mm -hmm. and you're actually reasonably good. You you were doing quite well in the Gold League mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> on the Asian server, and of course the Asian server I think right now overall higher skill level than the U.S. server. That's mm -hmm. my opinion. You know, top players are all similar level, but you know the Overall, every player you hit on Asia is pretty good. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what are your impressions of the game so far? So far, it looks really good. I like it, and uh, I've been playing Starcraft One before, and I also played uh, really a lot with Warcraft Three, and somehow it's like Starcraft uh, seventy percent, Warcraft Three like thirty percent. Mm. If you put them together, I think it's what what it's made yeah. for the StarCraft 2 and uh, the game looks really good and uh, the balance is much better than I expected yeah, yeah. it's surprisingly good mm -hmm. surprising and they are patching really bit 
greatly. I mean, yeah, they've been doing. Good, they just put uh, in a tiny patch today while yeah. we were sitting there playing. So, mm -hmm. and I'm happy for it. I'm happy to play. Mm. Well, uh, what what do you think is going to happen? You know, you're one of these people that is uniquely positioned. You've flown around to all these different tournaments while you were the Counter Strike coach. Uh, you know Foreigner Esports extremely well and Korean mm -hmm. Esports extremely well considering, I mean, you even go to KESPA meetings and stuff. You're, you're so, you're so ball up on it. have to go, man. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, but what do you think is going to be the impact of StarCraft II on this Korean scene? What do you think is going to happen and what do you hope happens? <clears throat> well, I hope the, between the KESPA and the Blizzard works out fine and mm -hmm. uh, it'll be good if we, we can once over, Korea would once over like uh, be in a high position to actually run the teams. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. uh, for overall, I mean, Korea has become uh, really good for the esports because of a lot of like big corporations actually got involved. Mm. And you need those kind of big corporations to sponsor the teams. Otherwise, you can't just have like weak teams with paying less money, you know, for the good players, you know. Yeah. It's. Uh, same thing, you know. You need some a lot of monies. <laughs> That's all. I mean, everybody will probably know that you need a lot of sponsors for mm -hmm. good players. Because yeah. otherwise, uh, like what happened before, like for the Brood Wars, Brood War. I mean, except Team EG, nobody actually sponsored any players for the foreigners. And yeah, it's it's been very sporadic. Yeah, you know, and MYM the, occasionally. That's why we try to bring. Yeah. yeah. That's why we try no, to bring a lot of foreigners, because foreigners yeah. are really talented, I think. And uh, that's right. They should get more. I mean, those talented players should get paid more, mm. and uh, which could also help sponsor to actually commercialize their products. Mm. You know. So, I just hope that everything works fine, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I just hope that. It works fine between the Casp and the Blizzard. So now, StarCraft Two versus StarCraft One. Do you think that StarCraft Two will eventually take over? If so, how long will it take? Do you think that they can be played side by side professionally here? What do you think? Like, let's say that Casp and Blizzard make up completely. Oh, if they make a complete thing, I mean, we'll probably start right this year or next year. Yeah. I mean, it's too obvious. But will it? How long will it take to replace StarCraft One if it will replace it at all? Maybe a year. And you just, think everyone will my, switch over? Yeah, just in that my time? prediction. I mean, yeah. Maybe a year, you know. Hmm. So it all kind of hinges on the Kespa Blizzard drama. Mm, that's right, yeah. So. I see, I see. Well, all right. I think that that is just about it. And we will go on to the next interview then. Thank sure. you very much for your time, no problem. Mr. Hwani. <laughs> all right, it's time for the third and final interview. And it's going to be with the new Protoss coach of Eastro, Tester, a very old school player. Let's start out with a question about that. You recently turned from playing to being a coach. Uh, why did you choose to make that move, and are you happy with it? Mm. 하게 된 이유는 일단 음. 조금이라도 게임 잘할 때 빨리 코치를 하는 게 좋다고 생각을 해서 음. 감독님이랑 얘기를 다 하고 이제 음. 서로의 이제 의견을 맞추다 보니까 그게 좋은 것 같다는 생각에 그렇게 됐고요. 일단 두 번째 자, 지금 하고 있는 일에 대해서는 지금 아직 프로토스가 좀 저희 팀이 못 하고 있으니까 음. 별로 만족스럽진 못하는데 아직 한 지도 얼마 안 됐고 그랬으니까 좀 시간도 지나고 하면은. 잘안 해도 나오고 그러면은 그때 좀 좋아질 것 같아요. 음. 지금 당장은 아직 좀안 좋은 것 같아요. 음. Well, he if he says that uh, he wanted to become a coach while he's in, still he's still in a shape. 음. Okay. When he declines with his skills, he doesn't want to become a coach. 음. Then nobody would respect him or nobody would like look upon him at all. But 음. he was in a still good pretty good shape, you know, decent shape. So he talked to head coach, which is cost, and he made this decision to become a coach. Okay? Uh -huh. And right now he's not pretty sat satisfied with the uh, product lines right now because uh, mm. he's teaching, he's uh, coaching 
pros line in our team, but our pros has not been doing well, mm. so he's not satisfied. But he just became a coach, and he's he's gonna see if they get better, and if they do well in a pro league, then then he'll be happy. But mm. right now, he's not satisfied with his uh, <laughs> not because of his job, but yeah. because of not winning. You know, yeah, yeah. it's the record. Well, the Protoss line, uh, both in Eastro and in StarCraft overall, is and always has been weaker than the lines of the other two races. Uh, why do you think this is? And what are you going to do to try to make sure that the Eastro Protoss line improves? Mm. Uh, 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 손이 빠르고 멀티 태스킹 같은 게 이게 좀 이것저것 한 번에 같이 할수 있는 이게 좀 다른 종족에 비해 더 뛰어나야 되는 것 같아요. 그래서 약간 토스 잘하는 애들 보면 그게 확실히 좋은 것 같아요. 그런 게. Oh, the, as a Poros itself, the race is a bit complicated. He says that's what he thinks. Of, mm. of course, I mean, yeah. uh, no against against the uh, Terran users or the Zerg users. Okay, <laughs> it's easy since he's a Poros user. He's sure. saying that. I think uh, to became, become a really good player for a product, you need to be really good at um, multi things like mm. you know, all kinds of stuff. And you have to always see what they are doing. Yeah. It's pro he think it's a li little bit more passive union yeah. than it's like a direct union, you know? That certainly you shows know? in his style as well. That's why you have to search always what the other race is doing and you have to always you know, catch up and follow up. That's why it takes time. You need to have a really fast hand, you know, good APMs, and also you have to be good at mechanically mm. to produce a massive, massive unit. And you also have to look into the minimap, which, which of course, he needs to like actually oversee the whole map and everything. So, yeah. so that's the why there are so many reasons for the products to become a good, you know. Yeah. And so, what is he going to do now to help the Protoss line in Istra? Hmm. Well, it's easy and it's pretty, it's much more simple to actually just give him a tactical tactics mm. and good build orders and make him win. Just practice to one build order, one tactics, so we can have one wins at least, you know. Yeah. But if you do that, if you too much, if you like too much rely on the tactics and the build orders, you don't do well in the... MSLs as well, OSLs and yeah. individual leagues, because you, your skills don't improve much. Yeah. But he doesn't want to do that. He wants all, he wants all the players to actually their overall skills just improve. You know, mm. not just the build orders or the tactics. So he's more focusing on the their firm plays, mechanical plays. That's why he's uh, trying hard. Those things he's more focusing on the mechanical things for our players. Hmm. All right. Uh, right now, everyone knows about Gosi flying in Songho. 
But who on Eastro team, aside from these two, what Protoss player should we expect to see next from Eastro? You know, playing whether it's in Pro League or doing well in OSL, MSL, anything like that. Who is the next Protoss in line? Sangho랑 이미 뭐 재욱이랑 다 이제 알려져 있는 선수들이고 우리 팀에서 yeah. 계속 경기를 뛰고 있으니까 너가 이제 한명 네가 이제 토스를 키우는 입장에서 yeah. 우리 토스 중에서 좀 기대해 볼 만한 앞으로 주목해 봐야 할 만한 선수다 이렇게 한 명을 뭐 얘기를 해주면 굳이 꼽아야 돼요 꼭 <웃음> Does he have to pick one? He does have to pick one. 하나만 골라주래 그래도 상대 아직 모르는 사람 선수 I, I won't hold him to it though. <웃음> 근데 두 명이 비슷해요. 완전 비슷해? 완전 똑같아요. 그 응. 실력이 그래가지고 응. 둘 다라고 얘기해 되고 뭐좀 병준이, 동준이 둘이 아 지금은 좀 병준이랑 동준이? 네. 음. 저 그? 동준이가 아이디가 뭐지? 디얼 S C M. 어. 저는 치수 거기 있어. 그렇지. Excuse me. 아 디얼 S C M. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, and, he's a uh, new player. Uh-huh, and uh, Grape. Ah, and Grape. Mm -hmm. Grape, yeah, he's done a lot of show matches against the Forms. <laughs> <laughs> All right, excellent. Um, Now, right before you became a head coach, you were actually, I believe it was third oldest active pro gamer. He's not a head coach. No, before you became coach, I thought okay. I said. Did you I say head, head coach? coach? Yes. <laughs> okay, well, I meant coach. Okay. Before you became coach, uh, I believe you were third oldest active pro gamer. And still you had good results, you know, a top 16 in OSL last year. Uh, and so just good showings overall. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the people who say that, you know, as you get older, you can't play as well as these young kids? Is RTS and pro gaming uh, a younger kids thing? Mm -hmm. 이 RTS 게임에 저 적합하다고 생각을 해? RTS 게임은 늙으면은 포기를 해야 되는 게 맞는 것 같아. 그럼 그것보다는 저희 음. 나라는 이제 군대 문제가 있으니까 음. 나이가 이제 스물한 다섯 정도 되면은 그때부터 음. 이제 잡생각이 좀 생기고 음. 술 담배 이게 <웃음> 제일 문제인 것 같아요. 나이 들었을 때. 지금 어렸을 때 어린 애들은 음. 술안 먹잖아요. 음. 그래가지고 그러니까 술 담배 안 하고. 머리 군대 생각이나 이런 게좀차 생각 별로 없으면은 나이가 없어 똑같이 잘할 수 있을 것 같아 자기 관리만 잘하면 음 그럼 잘 친구도 없고 그냥 오타 같은 애가 더 잘하겠네 나이 먹어도 그렇죠 어. 잘하지 아니면 그냥 그것만 페인처럼 하거나 어. 놀지도 않고 하는 애들도 잘할 수도 있죠 음. 결국엔 게임 하는 거는 음. it says it's not about the age it's as you gain the age you wanna hang out yes. you wanna become social okay good I'm you wanna be about more friends and yeah. stuff you want to be talkative, you know? You know, you just become social, social you know? Yeah. You go out and, and drink, you know? Mm. But when you're young, you don't have a really chance to drink outside and mm. stuff. But as you get older, you get more friends and you have to think about your life beings, you know? And right. becoming a social. I'm glad he looks at it that way. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the why, truth. That's why he's, he says it's not only for the young, but it's just uh, it's just the, the thing as you get older. Young you have no lives, man. If, Girls look also, really pretty the older you get, man. <laughs> and as you know, the Korea, we have to go to army and stuff. That's why as you get more mm. ages, you have to think about your future. And so, there's so many thoughts ongoing. That's why you go out to friends and talk more about your things and stuff. That's why it just lags. I mean, that's that's why it doesn't help the gaming life, you know? Yeah. I, I, I actually asked him if, if you're not an unsocial guy or if you're just a, like a... No friend, you only play game, so does he, he then he's gonna become a better gamer? He says, Yes, of course. Mm. If you only play game, of course. Mm. It's not about the age, it's about becoming social and it's about, about it's about all about uh, making a lot of thoughts and stuff. Makes perfect sense to me. Alright, uh what are your goals for the Easter team in Pro League this season? Where do you wanna finish? You know? Mm -hmm. And who's gonna help you get there? Well, you want season we uh, 우리 팀 목표라고 더 개인적인 목표. 저희 팀 목표는 일단 코칭 스텝은 전부 다 음. 플레이오프 음. 가는 게 목표고 저의 목표는 딱히 없어요 그냥 <웃음> 그 그냥 토스가 잘하든 뭐 음. 아예 딱 토스를 맡아서 하는 것보다는 저는 그냥 
다른 종족이 특수라 하더라도 음. 그 이길 수 있게 도와주고 그런 식으로 하는 게더 편하고 음. 특세들과 자꾸 하면은 솔직히 다른 애들한테 좀 신경 덜 가면은 더안 좋을 것 같아서 저는 음. 제 생각에는 그냥 골고루 다 잘하고 좀 플레이오프 아니 플레이오프 가는 게 음. 목표죠. Our goal for all coaching staff is uh, going to a playoff. That's our goal for this season. Mm. And it, his goal, his own goal, is not just helping on one product lines, but he wants to also help other race mm. playing against products. Because he could actually help them how yeah. the products of work and stuff. That's his own goal. He just wants the whole team to work out whether it's a product versus other race or other race versus products. You know, mm. just want everybody to well. To do well in a pro league. Okay, cool. 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 All right, now on to some StarCraft Two questions. Uh, mm -hmm. Recently, the beta came out. I know you've played it a little bit. Uh, what do you think of the new game? StarCraft Two. 몇번 해봤는데 어떤 것 같아? 그런 게임. 너 느낌은? 음, 확실히 나이 먹어도 잘할 수 있을 것 같아요. 그러나 좀 음. 약간 어느 정도는 그리고 머리를 많이 써야 되고 상황 음. 판단 같은 게좀 좋아야 될것 같고. 음. 재밌는 것 같아요, 확실히. 근데 mm. 좀 어려워 아직. Mm. Well, he played a little bit. He says, "Well, the age doesn't matter." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I can see that age doesn't matter. You have to be smart on that play, on that game. Yeah. And uh, right now, it's a little bit complicated. He didn't play it that much. Mm. But he, he he says it's really fun. Yeah. And it's a great game. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. Um. Well. Do you think that you might give pro gaming another run? Maybe you know we've heard a lot of rumors about the older pro gamers making a little comeback at the beginning of StarCraft II because they have such a deep RTS understanding. Mm -hmm. Do you have any you know similar goals if you know Kespa and Blizzard make up if if StarCraft II appears here professionally? What are your plans? 만약에라도 Star 2가 실제적으로 뭐 다시 우리나라 리그에 이제 도입이 되거나 뭐 대회가 생기거나 이렇게 됐을 경우에는 만약이라도. 어 너가 뭐 우리나라 그 옛날 올드 게이머들이 스타투 나오면 하겠다는 뭐 의지를 표명한 바 있거든 네. 해보겠다 뭐 다시 도전을 해보겠다 뭐 이런 식으로 얘기가 몇번 오고 가고 했는데 너는 어떨 것 같아 그런 데가 있으면 한번 선수로서 다시 한번 도전해 보고 싶은 마음은 있어 일단 게임은 하겠죠 음. 일단 제가 가르치기도 하려면 음. 게임을 일단 알아야 되니까 음. 열심히 하고. 만약에 그때 가서도 게임을 좀 잘할 수 있게 되면은 음. 코칭 그냥 플레이 코치를 음. 하면 되겠을 것 같아요. 음. 그렇게라도. 음. Well, the thing is, if he gets to have uh, some kind of like, uh, if the actual game becomes really great and uh, I mean it becomes something like uh, popular in mm. Korean scenes and everything, then he will see what's going to happen. But if everybody starts to play, he wants to play too, of course. I mean, mm. if you want to coach somebody, you have to know the game. Thank you. Mm -hmm. so, so true. You want to try hard <laughs> as much as the players do. Yeah. So he can actually coach somebody. Excellent. Mm. Excellent. All right. Well, uh, oh, I actually, this is a fun little question. Mm. Uh, Noni, who used to be on Eastro, and of course you worked with because you're a Protoss player, just won the Team Liquid Star League, the last big StarCraft 1 event for the, the foreigners, and $10,000. Uh, what what level of bar do you expect him to bring you, out, bring you out to when he comes to Korea? Mm. What do you mean bar? You know, you know, he has to treat him out, right? Uh, I mean, Tester helped him mm. while he was here, and that's part of the reason why he won the Star League, so... Noni was recently playing the Star League in the US, so I won the first time. So... 그는 그냥 웃긴 질문인데 만약에 논이가 한국에 왔어 네. 그러면은 논이가 한방 쏴야 돼. 아 그래요? 아 지금 자기 우리 이스트로 팀에 있었으니까 쏜다고 하면은 네. 어느 정도 수위에서 또 얻어 먹어야 될것 같아 논이한테. 제 생각이요? 어? 제 생각이요? 네 생각이. 논이가 쏜대. 오케이 생각보다는 너 가고 싶은데 정해 이러면 어디? 아 우리한테 정하라 그러면요? 응. 사람 숫자에 따라 다르겠죠. No, depends on the how many people he's paying. Oh, I see. So like, if he brings out the whole Eastro team, oh, it can yeah. it can just be Sam Gipsol. But if it's just like Kisu and, <laughs> and, and Kisu and him, it has to be like a sexy bar. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right, fair enough. Uh, what do you have to say to your foreigner fans of Eastro out there? There are a lot of them. So uh, let's hear it. 우리가 좀 팬이 많아 외국에. 생각보다 왜 왜냐면 계속 외국 선수를 이렇게 데려왔었잖아 네. 그래가지고 
기대하는 부분도 많고 팬도 많은데 뭐그 중에서 이제 너 팬들도 있고 이제 성대랑 재욱이 팬들 다 있거든. 네. 뭐 포럼 같은 데 글이 올라가고 네. 그러는데 팬한테 한마디 하면 외국 팬들한테. 어뭐 일단 제가 외국 사이트에는 한 번도 안 들어가서 음. 잘 모르겠는데 저희 팬이시라고 하면 뭐 감사하고 음. 그다음에 뭐 제가 선수를 그만두고 이제 애들 애들을 가르치는 코치가 됐는데. 저의 플레이를 좀 애들한테 많이 가르쳐서 저의 옛날에 플레이 했던 거 약간 음. 좀 그런 거를 방송에서 보실 수 있게 그런 애들을 통해서라도 접근한 어, 스타일? 네. 음. <웃음> 약간 그런 걸 시키려고 하거든요. 약간 음. 프로토스는 약간 그런 게 있어야 되는 것 같아요. <웃음> 힘? 힘? 네. 어. 밀어야 되는. 어. <웃음> 그래가지고 그런 플레이는 좀 많이 가르치고 싶어요. 음. 어느 한 명이 좀 잘하는 애가 있으면 그런 걸. 음. Okay, well, he recently became a coach. Well, He thanks he thanks a lot for the fans out there. And right now he's teaching somebody. He's coaching someone at this position. Mm. He wants to make another like a mini tester, someone Ooh. who plays like him. You know, he's gonna if he finds someone who's becoming really good, mm. he's gonna teach him. Products you need to power units. You know. Yeah. So you know how he used to play, right? Of really course. Massive, massive macro. I've seen a thousand tester yes, games. Yes. He hasn't even played a thousand yeah, games. You want to teach some <laughs> kind of those styles. He thinks Pros needs those kind of style. Yeah. It makes games really fun. Oh, it definitely does. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't attack, move on Andromeda into mm -hmm. the Terran choke. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much for the interview. Samnida. Sugasu. Sugasu. Haha, you thought it was over, but we have a bonus interview. We have C really grabbed him after a game that he just played, and I've already informed him not to be modest in this interview because we weigh gooks. We don't like modesty, do we, Juani? <laughs> no, we do not. Okay, so first things first. What is it like to become famous? First question. How are you famous? How are you famous? Am I famous? <laughs> You're ridiculously famous. <laughs> no, What's it like to become <laughs> famous? He cannot feel it. He doesn't feel it. Yeah, Too much practice, it. man. All right. Well, um, where would you rank yourself uh, amongst the Terrans in the world? Like, what rank do you give yourself exactly? Obviously, Flash is the best. But are you second best? Are you third best? Where do you put yourself at? Mm. Really now? Top 10 is a bit of a good thing. I think it's 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 a good thing. Third? Third? Third or second or something like that. Who else is in the top three? Is it fantasy? I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. Yeah. Fantasy and the flesh. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I'm very glad to hear this. Mm -hmm. So you do believe that you are better than Shin Song Moon despite his stupid winning record on you through cheeses. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, okay, well, if you say so. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I'm Because that's like... <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of... A lot of foreigners try to pretend that he's better because he has a winning record on him. Oh. I tell him, ob obviously not. Mm. Okay. Now, macro-wise, you might be the best player in the entire world. Is there anyone that you actually fear in a macro game? Mm. Like, really? just a unit production-based game, you know, nothing tricky at the beginning. Is there anyone in the world that you fear at that? Best, maybe? Best? You're good okay. at macro? Yeah. Oh, you good at making zealots? Oh, you're good at... Yeah. Nobody, no one else. No one else. Ooh, ooh, I like this interview already. This is my favorite Korean interview ever. You don't know what you're doing. Man, they never are this honest. All right. Um. Damn, I'm being thrown for a loop here. These answers are just so good. I'm all smiley and giggly and wiggly. All right. Uh, who do you most respect aside from the obvious, uh, well, best you, mm -hmm. you respect and Flash and mm -hmm. Fantasy and I'm sure Jadong, but who else in the pro gaming scene do you really respect? You really look at them and say, wow, that is such a good player. Mm. Well, 
진짜 다 아는 제동이 뭐 태경이 도지영 뭐 이런 애들 빼고 그나마 너가 어 얘는 좀 잘한다 라고 네. 생각하는 선수가 있어 종족 상관없이요? 어 상관없이 진짜 어 얘는 좀 잘한다 진짜 잘할 것 같다 이런 선수 팀은 아... 상관없고 음 글쎄요 좀 무섭다 오 화면은 좀 힘드네 이런 생각들 딱히 없어요 <웃음> No one No one else <웃음> No one else Wow excellent <웃음> Alright well uh, You use ghosts a good amount And recently we've seen you use medics for blind and that you've used that on shuttles against Jongbi on observers from time to time uh, is this something that you you developed did someone else develop this for you and why exactly do you do it do you think it's something that's going to stick around um, well, medic 쓰는 거 뭐, 고스트도 종료 썼었고 럭다운 네. 메딕 이제 매치 포인트에서 종료 쓰고 그러는데 너가 발견한 거야? 음, 그 그냥 처음에 응. 신상호가 좀 가르쳐 주길래 어. 그냥 몇번 해봤더니 그때 그 타이밍류로 썼거든요. 어. 그래서 그게 안 되길래 네, 어. 그냥 수비적으로 한번 써볼까 하다가 해보니까 음. 승률이 좋아가지고 쓰게 됐어요. 음. At first, Sangho, which is Ryan Shield, mm. told him it might be useful when yeah. do when Terran does a timing rush. Yeah. Uh, Sangho told him try this medic blind. When you do the timing rush, mm. but then he tried on the timing rush, it didn't work out fine. Yeah. So he used the medic for defensive use. It's just like blinding observers, trying to uh, uh, mm. avoid the uh, dragon killing mines and stuff. Yeah. And it worked pretty nice. So that's mm. why he used it in a pro league. So is this something that you think might catch on and people might start doing, or does it really take the 400 APM that you possess? Mm. 뭐 손이 진짜 빨라서만 되는 그 스킬이 아니면은 사람들이 점점 해보면 해봤으면 쓸만하다는 걸 느낄 정도로 쓸만하실 것 같아요. 매직 쓰는 거. 아니 손이 빨라서 빨라야지만 되는 거야? 그게 되게 어... 딱쓸때 네. 어. 옵저버가 마인을 제거할 때 음. 그때 딱 바로 걸어주지 않으면 마인이 다 제거되니까 음. 그걸 잘 보고 있어야 돼요. 계속 음. 그게 제거되면 이제 옵티컬 한 이유가 없으니까 음. 그걸 잘 보면서 눈을 잘 봐야 할것 같아요. 음. 미니 맵을. 네, 미니 맵을. 네. 음, it's really important to see actually watch over the mini maps. Mm. When the dragon started to take over the mines, you know, and get rid of the mines, you have to use the blind right on time. Yeah. On the observers, otherwise it's no use. True that. True that. Well, you're doing really, really well in Pro League so far. You have a ton of wins. Last I checked, you were ranked second. You may have fallen a little bit since then. What are your goals for you for the rest of the Pro League season? Where do you want to finish up overall in that? Well, he think he says he can win all, at least ten wins in a, during the one every round. Yeah. So that would make up at least fifty wins nice. for the whole season. And he says he, he says he can do it. It's possible, and it's not just a dream, or it's, it, it is not, a, not even a goal. He thinks he can do it, and uh, he's quite confident. And for the team, he want to win all the ace matches and pull over our team to the postseason, which is a playoff. Wow, very nice. That's, well, I guess it's not really a goal. It's just something that's mm -hmm. going to happen. I really like this interview, by the way. This is awesome. Um, wow, well... What do you think about your your lack of success in the star leagues when you're obviously one of the very best players in the world? Mm. Do you get angry at these frustrating losses by lesser players that are doing cheeses on you and using like recall and stuff? Mm. <laughs> 솔직히 이게 네. 어차피 외국으로 나오거든. 어, 일단 굉장히 저서 화가 나는데 음. 음, 진 이유에 대해서는 좀 어, 
실력에 대해서 졌다 생각 안 하고 음. 어, 손에 땀이 너무 나서 음. 제 기량이 제 발이 안 돼서 음. 떨어진 거라 생각해요. 음. <웃음> he doesn't feel that he lost by his skills. Mm. He was very frustrated. He was very angry and mad that he lost. Yeah. But he has some problem that I know and that he knows. He sweats a lot. I told you before. Yeah. But because of that, he sleeps with his mouth is in a lot, a lot of times. Oh really? Yeah, and uh, to, he's quite fr frustrated with those things. He That's needs rough. to get cured. That's why he didn't show his skills all enough. Mm. That's why he lost. Okay. Uh, you know, recently you ended Flash's Terran vs. Terran win streak, which was like the second most unbelievable win streak of all time, I believe it was. Uh, how did you feel about that? Because that was like a straight up game that he just completely outplayed Flash in. Felt really good. Never yeah. felt that good before. Oh, really? <laughs> Best feeling of life. Yes. Sick. Oh, felt like he won something. Yeah, well, he did win something. Mm -hmm. He won against Flash DBT. It was a great win. Um, what is your favorite game you ever played then? Is it that game? You want to take your game? You want to take your Yes. Yes, it is that. All right, excellent. Um, um, I'm beginning to dry up a little bit on questions here. Hold on, he's answering everything so well. It's like <laughs> I'm almost too excited to come up with something. Uh, all right, well, you know, StarCraft Two has just come out. Uh, would you like <coughs> to try it out? And do you think if you know the Korean scene kind of starts to take it in, would you like to possibly switch games in the future? Well, start to announce it. You know, people. 대부분 하고 있는데 뭐 우리는 아직 프로리그 진행 중이니까 못 하지만은 네. 뭐 나중에 뭐 이렇게 자연스럽게 뭐 스타트로 넘어간다면은 해볼 마음이 있는지 없습니다. 없어? 네. 그러면 그냥 스타 원만에서 하다가 스타 원 사라지면 그냥 안 해? 네 게임은 이제 앞으로 응. 어, 영원히 안할 거고 응. 네. 컴퓨터도 잘안 하고 그냥 일하면서 살 거예요. 무슨 일 하기? 네. 그냥 사회생활 하면서 그러니까 사회생활 뭐 꿈이 있다면? 아직 그건 안 정했는데 응. 음, 그냥 평범하게 살고 싶어서 네. 응. 게임도 재미를 느끼면 재밌지만 응. 너무 힘들어가지고 응. 이제는 다시는 못할것 같아요 응. 그냥 이번 스타원 계속 하면은 이거 할 때까지만 하고 네. 만약에 스타원이 사라지면 그냥 음. 네. He's only going to stick with the Starcraft 1 yeah. door and then when Brood War dies out, if everyone switches to StarCraft 2, you will just quit gaming life. It's too hard. All right. He's going to quit. Oh, and purist, he just I wants to have that. a normal life. Oh. As they have a family and a kid. Yeah. Just wants a normal life. I see. After the, but when Star 1 is done, you're going to get out of the way. I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to get out of the way. But before he quits or retires with a gaming life, will at least win OSL or win Ooh, before good. he does that. That's, that's what I want to hear. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, now let's say that you end up retiring eventually mm -hmm. and you go and have that wife and kid. What if your child wants to be a StarCraft 3 pro gamer? <laughs> are you going to let him and support him? Or are you going to say, no, you better oh. study? <laughs> 은퇴를 하고 뭐 직장을 구해서 가족이 생기고 결혼도 하고 애를 낳았어. 네. 오늘 아들을 낳았어. 뭐 그때 당시에 뭐 아들이 나 스타크래프트 3 선수 될래. 뭐 이렇게 하면 어떻게 안될 거야? 안 시킬 거야? 어. 프로 게임은 안 시킬 거야. 어, uh, no. No. He would let his son play a StarCraft or a gaming like. He won't, huh? He won't. He will never. Oh, wow. So that kid's going to have to sneak out to the PC barn. 뭐래 그럼 시방 가야겠구나. All right. Well, excellent. Uh, I think that just about wraps up. Are there anything mm. that you would like to say to your fans out there? You have a lot of foreign fans nowadays, mm. and it is growing with every time you go out and smack Flash. So, mm. what do you want to say to those foreign fans? I'm a lot of attention to the foreign fans. I'm a lot of attention to the foreign fans. I'm a lot of attention to the foreign fans. I'm a lot of attention to the foreign fans. I'm a lot of attention to the foreign fans. I'm a lot of attention to the foreign fans. 
화끈한 마디 뭐 아주 이제 잘해서 뭐 하겠습니다 말고 네. 뭔가 팬이 기대할 수 있는 갈망할 만한 남들이 하지 못하는 그런 얘기들 좀 팬들 음. 외국 팬들한테 어... 맨날 인터뷰 때 하는 거는 <웃음> 식상하잖아 그렇죠 다음 시즌 잘하겠습니다 네. 다음 경기 잘해서 감사합니다 뭐 이런 거 네. 식상한 거 말고 Talking yeah. Something uh, different Good 저는 솔직히 음. 어, 이번 시즌을 마지막이라 생각하고 있는데 음. 그 이제 5라운드 이제 두 번밖에 안 남았는데 4, 음. 5라운드 그 안에 꼭 최대한 많이 이겨서 제 승수도 챙길 뿐더러 음. 꼭 팀을 승리로 이끌어서 음. 턱걸이라도 6위 안에 들어가서 포스트 시즌에 일단 가면 저희 음. 팀이 전역은 그, 그때는 모든 팀 통틀어서 1, 2위 안에 든다고 생각해요 음. 네, 그래서 다전제에서 하면 저희 팀이 무조건 올라갈 것 같은데 음. 포스터 시즌 꼭 올려놓고 싶어요 네. 음. Okay, well He will think of it as this season as the last season mm-hmm. I mean, he's gonna play harder yeah. And if we go up to the post season He says that our team is one of the top teams that could win the Pro League Ooh. That's what he thinks and He really wants our team to win the That would be pretty sick mm-hmm. This season That's fine. That would be a fun party, man. I would love that. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you very much for the interview. Mm-hmm. Kamsamida, Sugaso. Thank you.